What's going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care. Today we are going to show you how to replace a sprinkler head. Uh, spring, sprinkler head. Uh, real quick, real simple. Literally less than 10-15 minutes and you've got this taken care of. So uh, one thing I will show you is this is this is uh, the sprinkler that was busted um, and because it was out of the ground. So we just got pretty much a, a little open hole here. But on top of this, it also tells me that this is a rainbird head and this is an 1800 as well. So this tells me which sprinkler I can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and pick up. Now these are only four or five bucks. So not very expensive to do 10 to 15 minutes of your time. Not very much. So uh, show you how to do this. Tony's gonna show you how to replace that. <clears throat> and so pretty much all he's doing is, here's the old one that broke from the bottom here. So he's gonna dig it out down to the line down there. You can see the line. There you go. So this is a riser that the sprinkler head is on. And uh, so it's not where the actual pipe is, but there's between the pipe and the sprinkler head, you have these risers. Um, you'll see typically two types of setups for sprinkler heads. You'll see the riser, uh, which is there. Or you'll see a piece of like flex pipe uh, with what's called a barbed 90 um, that screws into the flex pipe and then screws into the head. Uh, the barbed 90 and flex pipe option is a lot better just because you have maneuverability, especially when you're um, you know, maintaining your property. So if you're maintaining your property and you break a sprinkler head and it's on a riser, if you can try to switch to flex pipe that way it's a little bit more work initially but it's a lot less likely to break so it's just a little more give in there for when it so goes over the it. line that uh this that you're talking about the way uh we're going to find that pretty much is we know there's a sprinkler over here and we know there's a sprinkler right there as well so that line probably runs right along this and then 90s down through there uh we're assuming because there's a sprinkler there a sprinkler here and then right. we've got this one as well. Well, and if you follow this riser, it'll go straight to where the PVC fitting is to connect these two, the head and the riser and the pipe. And so you can dig out from there if you need to follow back to a certain point in the pipe. Um, so there's always going to be pipe connected to the riser and then to the head. So, um, so in this case, what do we got to do with this one? So in this one, I'm going to, well... This head's busted, so I've got a replacement. Um, if you can, if the nozzle's worth saving, try to save the nozzle. And then you can reuse it. Um, this one's a little busted, so I'll see what I have as far as replacements on the nozzle. But you typically want to, you don't want to spray over concrete, and um, usually what's in there is going to be what's appropriate. So this one has a four. It's real small right in front of my finger there. Don't mean to flick you guys off. but. Uh, <laughs> right there and so that's telling you it sprays a four foot um, arc out here towards the the concrete since we're coming away from this brick enclosure all right so now we're just going to once again he's going to just dig this out a little bit more here neat thing about these risers um well sometimes they're made with you can cut little pieces off to be what um the height that you need them to be so that it sits appropriately with the height of the grass or the soil and in our case this sprinkler head sticks up above uh, about like that one did not as much but it's going to save uh, probably from having to replace the riser in the main line as well okay so sometimes if they're sticking up too high then the trimmer can hit and cut a hole in them so that's what happened with this in addition to just the uh, head breaking off so that's something to pay attention to when you're placing the sprinkler head these are four inch pop-ups and so they get good clearance especially if you're cutting the grass four inches or lower so they'll get to where it needs to be um, if you're dealing with high grass on a regular basis um, and you have a client's yard that sometimes grows maybe six inches in a week or something like that you might want to install a six inch or 12 inch pop-up uh, are a little bit more pricey and a little more extensive work to get them in place or dig them out but in the long run it, it's better for the grass so Um, 
if you want to get a closer look in here these risers have different sections that you can cut uh, for that certain height uh, so since it's about a half and they're about half an inch sections um, and so since we need to bring the head down about half an inch I'm gonna leave that current riser but I'm just gonna cut it down uh, to where it needs to be these cutters you can get I got these from the irrigation supply store Ewing which is probably my all-time favorite store but um, you can get similar ones at Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever, and they work really well for cutting trimmer line. So, um, in the case where you have, let's say the sprinkler head just broke off and you don't need to actually replace it, um, I use a knife and you can stick it in there to where that riser is, or sometimes the barb 90 every once in a while will break. Um, and you're just going to turn it counterclockwise, let the loose righty tidy. And as your parents taught you way back in the day and takes that part out and then you can just screw the head back on so but we're replacing this head uh, i'm just gonna screw it on here we want it fairly tight now it's right about soil level line might just be a, a hair higher but that'll work definitely not as high as it was <laughs> four inches out of the ground and I'm gonna go ahead and just put this nozzle back in there for now it's winter time uh, when we do a spring startup in the in the spring we can go through there's probably plenty of other nozzles that need to be replaced uh, this will just take care of for now. now how many times have you had your finger popped <laughs> uh, a few I've gotten pretty good at it now though so um, but you definitely want to make sure that you line up. You have fixed sprays and variable adjustment nozzles, van nozzles. Um, these kind of turn and you can make them 360 degrees or zero degrees. Or you have fixed sprays that it usually shows you on there, hey, it's spraying out this way, 90 degrees or 180 degrees, that kind of thing. So just make sure it lines up and spraying out. And that's simple as that, just make sure Fill the dirt back in, pack it tight around the actual grass. Oh, that's great. What was that? That was a needle. Really? Yeah. Don't get stung by needles or bit by needles. It really was a needle, guys. <laughs> well, I mean, we didn't think you were lying, but <laughs> you know, I, we just want to show them as well. <coughs> well, and if something like that happens, uh, definitely go get checked out. Less than 10 minutes. Even if you had to dig all the way down to that other line to replace that riser, I mean, it, once again, uh, you would have just dug around all the way down to your pipe uh, best you could and then probably used your hands to dig that dirt out around that main pipe as well. Uh, that way you could have got the riser out without getting any dirt back in that system because you don't want to get any dirt in these lines uh, when you're doing this. So if you have to, tape it, put something around it, uh, whatever you have to do to, to keep the dirt out of this line. <clears throat> and just like that, less than 10 minutes, you have a uh, sprinkler head replaced. Yeah. Make sure to, um, I didn't do it this time because we winterized the system, but... Um, blow the blow that nozzle out with some water uh, just run the zone for 30 seconds and that'll help uh, clear out any dirt or rocks that are in there because if those rocks get back into the uh, valve then it's a whole nother process to clean out and get that straightened up so all right thanks guys all right guys so that in a nutshell is how you change the sprinkler head Really not that hard, really not that difficult. The best way to uh, do it is, or learn how to do it, is by doing it. So uh, there you go. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Danny, out.